Hi guys, Ben with Biomassive here. You've already come up with your idea, now it's time to enhance your work. Video games are about storytelling, and we want your ideas to be as unique and as engaging as possible. Through these videos, we're going to look at various techniques video games use to tell great stories that people will want to play over and over. Flashback is a narrative device where a writer inserts a scene that shows something that happened before the main timeline of a story. The flashback is often used to recount previous events that prove critical to our understanding of either the character or the plot and of the backstory. In video games, flashbacks are a commonly used way to explain events within the storyline that occur prior to playing the game. These are called cutscenes. Most cutscenes will include flashbacks to help explain the character's motives and also give the game's player a better sense of the world and of the objectives within it. Just remember, any scene that shows events happening prior to the present moment and that we see is a flashback. Imagine you are on a steep hill on your bike. You look down and it paralyzes you with fear. You can't move. Your brain comes flooding back with memories. What happened to cause this? People have memories all the time, and we make decisions based upon them. So do characters we create. When the character we create has a thought that impacts his or her decisions, we call that a memory. When we write a scene that shows the memory, that's a flashback. So we actually flash back to see the scene as it happened. So you're on that hill. What happened before? Maybe you fell down that hill when you were younger and got hurt really badly. There are lots of different ways you could write what happened. That's up to you. But here's a strategy we think will help with your thinking. Let's use a visual timeline for a person to think about a character's life. You are a grade 7 student, so let's put a mark here. If the start of this timeline is your birth, then any flashbacks would have to occur somewhere between birth and grade 7. Let's say it was when you were 10 years old, so I'll put a mark here. So what happened when you were 10? Well, let's say that's when you fell down the hill. So, we could write a scene where a younger you falls down the hill going really fast, and you got hurt at the bottom. What things could we add for details that you might remember seeing or hearing? The sound of the bicycle bell? The spinning tires in the air? These details are symbols, and symbols are great ways for memories to be triggered. Let's use a video game example. When you were young, you watched your parents die right in front of you, and the only thing you could cling on to was a necklace your mother wore. You are now an adult, and your mother's necklace floods you with memories. You swear to avenge your parents' death. Sound familiar? So, we'd write how the necklace becomes the key to triggering this character's memory, as well as his feelings and his decisions. So step one, go ahead and draw a timeline on a piece of paper. Put a mark somewhere in the middle, or roughly where you think your game's story starts, and then put a mark somewhere to the left of this, and think about what might have occurred to your character at this point that we'd need to see to understand why we're playing this game. Now that you've decided on when and how something has happened, step two, write it. A scene is really made up of three main things. One, the setting, where we are, time and place. Two, the characters, who we see and what they're doing and an action, some form of next action event that helps drive the plot forward. Write your first paragraph describing the setting. Don't forget descriptive language. Flashback to a cold, frost-heaved winter on the ice planet, for example. The next paragraph can be about your character and what they are doing at this point in time. The third paragraph can describe the action that happens to the character. What happened next? With only a small amount of writing, you can create a very effective flashback sequence. Use your answers to the questions on the previous writing frame sheet you've been using to help start your idea. Think about, what does your character want? Why is getting that important? What objects or symbols are there to help? Why is a flashback important to the story? Do we understand your character better? Can you find examples of cutscenes in your favorite video games?